Welcome to Software Testing Help and the tutorial series on Wiremock. As part of the agenda, we will cover how you can use Wiremock with JUnit test as a JUnit rule. And we will see how you can configure and validate a stub programmatically in Wiremock. So let's get started. I have created a simple Maven project in IntelliJ named Wiremock Usage. Let's go through the POM or dependency file. We added a couple of dependencies. First one is the dependency for Wiremock itself. You can simply search for Wiremock in the Maven repository and take the latest version of the Wiremock dependency. I've added a dependency for OKHttp OK client. This is the REST client which we'll use to send requests to Wiremock server. And finally, I've used dependency for JUnit as we'll be writing all this code as part of JUnit test. So let's get started. I'll create a simple test file. Let's name it as Wiremock JUnit rule test. To get started, first we'll need to write a rule here. A rule is nothing but a concept in JUnit which essentially combines test setup methods like before and after. And Wiremock by default provides a rule for JUnit named Wiremock rule. You can simply say new Wiremock rule. There is a static method that I'm going to use Wiremock config or port 8085. Let's resolve this. Now we'll write our test. Wiremock rule test. And let's add a test annotation here as it's a JUnit test. And in any test, there is a standard convention of arrange, act, and assert. It's always a good practice to divide your test like this, which makes it more readable and helps test to achieve its purpose. So in arrange, we'll also need to see how you can configure stubs programmatically. In act, we will call request in Wiremock to OK HTTP client. And here we will assert the response for the API call made to OK HTTP client. So this is our goal. We'll first see how we can configure stubs programmatically and then we'll call that URL where we have configured the stub and finally we'll assert the response. So I'll create a create one method here named configure stubs. There's a private method. And now let's see what it takes. Now we have started or we'll, we are going to start by a mock on port 8085. There are some static methods that Wiremock provides. So first we'll use configure for. Again, it's a static method which tells that where you want to configure the stubs. Then we'll say stub for, which means what URLs you want to create stub for. And now let's create a stuff here. Get URL equal to, let's say URL is your user slash one. And what we want to return as stub responses, will return a response with body suppose string body there are lots of overloads available for this and we can use them in a lot of combinations i'll say with body say suppose welcome to our mock tutorial and 
attach the grid. So you can see now what we have done is we have configured stub for localhost port 8085 and this is the syntax to add or create a stub in Wiremock. We are saying that when a request comes for URL user slash one, please return with body welcome to Wiremock tutorial. And again, there are a lot of things that you can do and you can also do method chaining and you can also say that, okay, what for this URL, I need to return status port 400 or 500 or whatever you want to do in your test. But this is the most simple string response that we are trying to stub here. So now in the at, we will need to create a request for this. And you can use any other, any HTTP client that you want. For simplicity, we are using OK HTTP client. And you can also create this entire request using postman that we are going to do localhost 8085 user slash two this is our request right Simply click send, go to code in Postman and generate code for Java OK HTTP. You can simply copy and use this code here and should work out of the box. Just import these libraries here. And add exception handling. And we are ready to get started. So what it's going to do is localhost 8085 user slash 2. Now we will need user slash 1 because that's what we have configured for. And you can see that this response will essentially now contain or should contain the string body as welcome to Wiremock tutorial. Finally, let's add assert. I'll say assert equals. this from JUnit and we'll assert welcome to our mock tutorial text from response dot body string. So now you can see our assert will validate that the response body string is nothing but the one that we have set up. So let's try running this test and see if we are able to make it success. It says compiling. It gives some invalid class error. Okay, it says the rule should be public. and we can see that our test has passed and it has executed this request let's try changing it to something else tutorial new and now we'll expect our test to fail Okay, it says address already in use. That means our server is still up. Let's try running it again. And we can see our test is failed. It says expected is Wiremock tutorial and what it got is Wiremock tutorial new. 
So that's how you can simply write test using Wiremock as Wiremock rule. And this rule ensures that whatever port or config settings that you want, these will be instantiated before every test. And this is how you can programmatically create bindings or stubs in Wiremock server. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you.